Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chessie. I figured I would do something that I kind of chipped a few people on and it's mainly because I got this. Now what this is, is one of Ulta's special sample bags where you spend so much money and then they send you this pouch or a bag full of deluxe samples. And it's a great way to try new products, especially if you spot some that you haven't tried before and that you've been eyeing. They won't tell you everything that's in them, but you can get a good look at the pictures on their website when they are active deals. So, the reason it got its own is because, well, people ask questions and I thought I was kind of undermining it if I didn't offer you the best view possible. Now this is a pretty nice bag, it's actually a decent clutch, I'll probably be using it. And what we have inside is pretty much travel size stuff that they charge you like ungodly amounts for. So sexy style hair hard up, it's their high shine five hold, it's decent, it's pretty good. It's if you want something to stay in place but you don't want to feel like you, you Elmer glued yourself in the place. Then we've got Vinci Laboratories with Active Supreme, and this is a really actually hefty one to the point I think the container is actually glass. Um, it looks like something that you'd even find on sale on the shelf, even though it's a tiny amount. I mean, it's pretty nice. I haven't tried it before, I don't know if I'll be able to work it into my regiment, but we'll see. Comes two things. Oh, they're real. This is a really great mascara. I actually like to wear this specific mascara when I don't have any eyeshadow or anything on and I want my eyes to really pop and I don't want to put falsies on. It's perfect for that. Next up though is the one I am wearing, which is Urban Decay's Troublemaker. Now I found that this comes off super easy. It does give you the, the fat, long, you know, great lashes that they promise, but it also is not a nightmare to remove, which is something I look for with a lot of makeup, especially around the eyes. I don't like to have to scrub at my eyes. Deluxe sample of Hemp's looks actually almost like what you would buy at the, another travel size sample, basically, of Herbal Color Shampoo. So it's preserving shampoo for color hair, and it's in there, blushing grapefruit and raspberry cream, which probably smells amazing because they have a lotion version of this, which is really phenomenal. This looks like a mousse, but it is a foaming shower gel sensation Yogi Flow. Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. I have my own um, Rose Aragon soap from Lush that I like to use, but I'll give this a try, especially since it's um, supposed to be rose scent, and I'll get back to you guys on how well this really is, because we all like to find new shower gels. Ooh. Next up is, it's a 10. Now I use a regular version of this on my hair when I get out of the shower, regardless of what I'm doing, because I found that you, you, try, you dye it enough, the, the ends dry out, and it becomes a pain in the ass. This, I found, will seal the cuticles better than a lot of heat, um, heat resistant sprays that you're supposed to put on your hair before you use a heat product, a hair dryer, or whatever, a flat iron, whatever you're doing. I found that this tends to seal, not this one in particular, I imagine it does just as well, um, but it's a 10, tends to seal my cuticles a little better, and I don't feel like I'm dried out. Next up is an Ulta, full size Ulta matte lip crown. Looks like the color is called Cheers. It, I would say it's kind of a rosy, coppery color, and that's what it looks like. And it's probably what it is. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of a rosy kind. It's not really rosy, it's more of a. a Neutral nude, brown, something. What do we got? What do we got? We have Viva La Juicy Grace, new perfume from Juicy Couture. Not sure. I'm, I'm weird about my perfumes. Next up is Michael Kors, Sweet Amber, Sexy Amber. And. You know, it's a cute little, you know, spray size. It's not like the tiny ones where you're like, oh, I can kind of get it. It's actually like a little mister, so you can get a couple wears out of it. 
the next stop is Stress Positive Eye Lift. And this is a curious one because it looks like it would be some type of like, um, like under eye padding that you would put on and it's actually a little tooth that you put on. And it's supposed to help with signs of stress, which I know I could probably benefit from on a regular basis. It also says that it minimizes puffiness, dark circles, increases luminosity, and lifts the eye area to help restore skin barrier integrity. I'm not sure if I'm necessarily the person to put it to the test, but I'm not against giving it a try, given sometimes I feel like I'm a walking corpse and nobody likes that. Now here's from a line I actively use already, Paragon MD, and it's High Potency Face Forming Activator. I'm application, clean face, uh, I'm not quite sure. I'm actually going to look up what this is really supposed to do, because it doesn't really say much. But I'm glad to get another sample from a company that I'm already really raving about. Uh, Gucci Bloom. Another big, mist, decent sized mister to try. Most of these bottles are actually glass, which is kind of scary. Uh, this looks like perfume, but it is not. It is Juice Beauty, Juice Beauty, Gwyneth, and it has a really cool purpley shade in it. I love the purpley red shades. And it's supposed to be photo pigment liquid that helps lay down intensive shine and doesn't feel tacky or drying so that'll be cool and it really is a really great shade that's like right up my alley for my my type of shades i'm glad i got that one all right estee lauder advanced night repair i believe this is a serum or an oil but i'm not sure i will have to look into how it's used and see if it fits into my nightly regimen or not. What else do we got in here? Alright, I believe, if, am I down? I'm down? I've got, alright, so I got the Matrix Boliage, Boliage, Boliage cleansing conditioner. I already use this line in their moisturizer in my shower and this is supposedly for damaged hair so this could actually come in handy right now and as I'm trying to let my hair grow out and work through that process. Next up I have lipstick from Smashbox which is a pretty it's a pretty neutral color it's a soft red it's a little more it's got a bit more pink in it. I don't know if you can see that really well. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. It's more pink where the other one was more brown. Let's go with that. And then there is Tarte Rady Set Radiant. I believe this skin mist. I believe this is supposed to be their take on Smashbox's photo finish, which is a uh, spray that you can use to set your makeup as well as use a primer. It's the primer water. I love it. I use it myself. And that would be everything that is in this little bag. As you can now see, it is tagged endlessly. As you can see, it's decent size clutch. Be great for a night out. Tuck it right under your arm. Or use it to haul makeup around like, like I might. Um, but that's what they do. If you spend a certain amount of money, they send you a bunch of deluxe, deluxe samples to hook you on more stuff. Uh, that's all I've got for today. Appreciate you watching. If you're a beauty junkie and you want to know more about some of the products that I've got, if you're interested in them or you have something to say about them, maybe you know more about them than I do because I got quite a few that I'm not familiar with hit the comments down below, hit subscribe if you like listening to me ramble, hit like, share, whatever it is that you feel like doing with this video. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, as well as Facebook, T-E-H underscore Chessy, Cheshire, not Cheshire, I am screwing up my own name. How bad is this? T-E-H underscore Cheshire. There we go. 
I appreciate all the love and support. I really look forward to hearing your comments about some of the products I got. Hopefully you can tell me even how to use them because a few of them, like the Estee Lauder, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. It's all shot in the dark. <laughs> and that's it. Hope you have a good day.